Hey, welcome to the Chronicles for July 30th. I'm your host, Janita Francis. Thank you very much for joining me. And we will see what today has in store for us. So there's been lots of chaos this week for everybody as a general society. Um, everyone's been a little bit um, frustrated, upset. Um, some people are completely sailing through things at the moment, whereas others are um, really struggling. I myself had a horrific day yesterday. It was just a nightmare. Um, however, when I came home, I found a black jelly bean in the lolly bag and my peace was restored. So um, if you're struggling at the moment, um, there's always readings available for you. Take a deep breath, get yourself out in nature, take your shoes off, stand on the grass, get in the dirt, stand in the rain, get yourself out there and just reset. Take a moment for yourself. Um, it is crazy energy. A lot of the psychics and mediums, um, we are experiencing just feeling like we're not exactly in our bodies at the moment. It feels like your body and your soul are trying to separate in, in some regards. So um, if that's you, take some time out and relax um, and see, um, see what See what you sort of have to pay attention to, okay? Because generally when these sorts of things happen, we need to pay attention to what's going on around us. And it is a big um, knock knock from the universe to tell us to just calm down and take some time out and enjoy ourselves. So this week's topic is how to unleash your intuition. Now, intuition, it is going to be different for everybody. Some people will hear, some people will see, some people will just get gut feelings. Some people will think that they're not getting any messages at all, but they actually are. So um, it'll be different for everybody. So the plan for today is um, as you all join in and tune in, post your comments up. Um, Hi, how are you going, Carla? Um, and then that way we can actually um, just have a little feel around and see where your strong point is, um, what you're interested in doing, how you want to um, strengthen your intuition, what intuition means for you too. Um, you know, some people just have a very different idea on intuition. And the best thing about spiritual development and growth, I find, is the fact that it's so different from everybody and there's no right or wrong way of going about anything. So, hi Jody, thanks for joining in. So um, I thought we'd get started on intuition. Hi from New Zealand. <gasps> you lucky duck. I've always wanted to go to New Zealand. Always wanted to go. Um, so we might get started. Good morning. Oh, you're popping in this morning. Thank you for your time. It's lovely to see you. We are discussing intuition, how to unleash it, what it is, what it looks like. And not just an umbrella term. So we're not just looking at psychics, mediums, um, palmistry, tarot, numerology. We are looking at everything and what intuition means for you. Okay, so there's no greater gift you can give someone than making it, um, taking the terrifying out of tapping into your intuition and how to um, not necessarily even talk to spirit. You can talk to yourself. You can talk to your higher self, what that looks like, how that feels. From Gundawindi, hello country girl, um, and what this looks like. So yeah, who wants to get started? Do I have any comments, any questions? Anybody want to have a look at where they're actually, you know, I might just pick on Natasha for a little second here, the lovely lady from Gundawindi. I'll tell you why. Good morning, Kate. Um, I've turned over the devil card for you, Natasha. Now, that doesn't mean you're the incarnate, okay? Not that cool. What it does mean is that you're holding yourself back a little bit. So there's a lot of self-doubt around how you tap into things, whether it's the right way, the wrong way, you're not really sure. Um, I can tell you, hand on heart, hand on heart, that you will, you, you don't need to worry about whether it's the right or the wrong way. Whatever feels right for you will be the right thing. What I can tell you, though, is don't get too caught up on trying to understand the messages, blurt them out, get yourself a diary, write things down, Natasha. Um, that way you can actually um, start to understand the messages and they'll make more sense. What I will let everybody know, um, and if you haven't already or you haven't come across this before, is that... Um, 
your intuition is a different way of thinking. It is not a logic brain. So if you've watched my video last week, you'll see that we talked a little bit about logic brain and how to interpret messages, what those messages mean, higher understanding of messages, things like that. Um, that's what we're going to be looking at and how to tap into it. So it's really important that when you're starting on your spiritual journey or even if you're 35, 40 years down the track in your spiritual journey like I am, um, that you understand that it's, it's, it's not going to be a really black and white cut and dry response that you get from any message, okay? It, it, sometimes it can be so cryptic it's not funny. Um, but write it down and then that way you can capture little things and go back and it might make more sense later. So the most important thing I can tell you, Natasha, is do not be hard on yourself, my love. Um, be really gentle. Understand that it takes a little bit of time. You also have lots of different stages of your intuition as well. So, um, And you're getting there at a fast rate of knots. The more you trust yourself and the more you listen to what those messages are, the, the greater your gift will become. Oh, we've got someone from America as well. Oh, wishful thinking. Natasha, I'm really pleased that you put, you put that up. A lot of people, um, how I do it for myself, okay, is when I'm saying, okay, what is the outcome for this job? I really want this job. I've applied for it. I think the interview went really well. I really, really want this job. Um, and then I pull the cards over or I start tuning into my own intuition, intuition rather, and I get yes, 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 and then I get a no from the job. What I have learned is that if it's my voice, it's myself bringing those comments in. If it's a different voice or if I hear it outside of my ears, so you know how sometimes you hear things and it's in your mind, it's not in your ears, if that makes sense. If you've done it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, that's how you can establish whether it's wishful thinking, whether it's your own emotions at play or whether it's a, a, a dinky die, fair income um, response on a spiritual level or on an intuition level. So um, a little bit of tricks around doing that. You can hold tourmaline as well, which will settle down your frequency so you're able to receive a clearer message. Never, ever doubt yourself, though, even if it sounds nuts. Um, please don't ever doubt yourself. I had a very interesting reading. I was in Batemans Bay this weekend just gone. Um, which is a beautiful coastal area just off from Canberra. Um, and a man came in for, um, came through in spirit form and he demonstrated how he had passed away. It wasn't the nicest demonstration I have ever witnessed in my life. Um, however, it's not up to me to change that interpretation or to change what I saw. I delivered that message straight for the lady. Now, she wasn't overly happy about the message but she got it and she understood it and she knew exactly why he did it in that manner so never change what you get never doubt what you get spit it out work out the details later let's have a little look back here we got lots of people back let's go back all right Now, remember, we're talking about how to unleash your intuitive self. So, oh, that's interesting. Beck, you learn from others. Now, when you learn from others, I don't mean that you are only capable of understanding or following someone else's path. What I mean is that you do it through interactions, observations, watching what people are doing, um, how your body feels, how you feel about things. So you're going to be more along the lines of clear sentient, okay? So clear feeling, you feel things. So there's a very high chance that, yep, yeah, okay, I get interrupted from spirit. What I was going to say was there's a very high chance that you're empathic and they said, yes, you are. So... Um, a big thing for you to remember, Beck, is to make sure that you are protecting yourself. Now, white light never works for me, okay? Picture white light, picture spotlight, I could picture 50 million white light, didn't help. Did not work. Um, but what I do is I say, okay, guys, not now. And when I want to bring them in, I click my fingers. Now, I know that sounds very weird, but this is me turning it on and this is me stopping it. And I have to be that cut and dry with it. So, um, and your empathy and how you interpret things and what's going on in your life, because you're able to tap into other people on lots of different levels, um, it's really important that you learn how to switch that off as well so you're not going to be overwhelmed with too many things that are going on for you. So that one was fall back. Let's have a look. We've also got Ginia. 
Ginia Carbone. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful vibration name. Ginia Carbone. Oh, I like that. It takes me to the Western with a big rifle in your arm. Now, that might not be what you like at all, but it's just got this really nice, earthy, beautiful, powerful vibration to it. I really like your name. It's very cool. I like it. All right, let's have a look. See what spirit chucks out for you. Oh, okay. All right. So you're an animal healer, Ginia. You are very clever with animals. You just seem to get what animals are saying to you. Animals just seem to get that you're not going to hurt them. So anything to do with animals. Um, am Sorry about that. They're talking a bit too fast and I'm trying to regurgitate it. Yeah. Look, anything... That um, comes in for animals, any not even veterinarian services, okay? Cuddling animals, walking a dog, talking to your goldfish, anything like that um, will bring you profound happiness. It brings them profound happiness too because your vibration and how you vibrate and your frequency that you're attracting is very much an animalistic frequency. I know that sounds crazy, but they actually vibrate on a different level from us, okay? So you um, resonate really, really well with animals. So anything that you can do from an animal point of view, absolutely. Um, and don't worry so much about what other people are saying if they say, you know, you're crazy or you're cuckoo because you can um, understand animals or that you have a real affinity with animals because it's actually a beautiful gift to have. So animals are an absolute blessing for us. All right, let's see who else we have. Indiana, one of my darling friends, comes from Jacksonville, which is probably nowhere near you, but I talk to dead people. I do not know geography, but I know it's in the USA. Um, Andrea Mann. Let's have a little look at Andrea, shall we? What do we know about Andrea? Andrea's coming out of her shell. Oh, okay. All right, Andrea, when I'm picturing you, I'm getting... A little person locked away inside, okay? And that little person wants to come out and play. And when you allow that little person to come out and play, she's actually just just a joy to be around, okay? Fun, interactive, um, animated, just really cool. So you've locked that little piece away, and I think if you've locked it away not because you have a facade, okay, or that you don't want people to see who you truly are, but I think you keep that locked away so no one can take it from you, okay? That's what we're looking at. Now, this is for Andrea, Andrea has got some delays going on in her life that she is not overly impressed with, but that's okay. The improvements are coming for you, so keep doing what you're doing. Keep pushing forward one step in front of the other at the moment. See things clearly as they were in the past. See what I was referring to about how to unleash your intuitive, intuitive self, intuition. I'm going to struggle with that word. Anyway, I've still got my finger here. I've got an itchy eye, okay? Now, this might seem like a really out there, far-fetched, but this is the left side. The left side is the past side. This is seeing things clearly. I need to rub my eye because I feel like I can't see out of it clearly. I can't see the past clearly. I'm hanging on to the past or I'm smarter now about the things that have happened in the past, okay? So a little bit more for you to do, Andrea, about letting go of some things in the past. Now, that does not mean that any work that... <laughs> okay, what I need to say to you is that does not mean that any work that you've done on releasing some of the yucky stuff in the past has not worked, okay? But what I can say to you is that you need to be kind about your past as well. So be kind to yourself um, and just move on and, and keep moving forward in that manner, okay? So things are coming and it, it, they're just going to go up and up and up for you. So you don't need to worry about too many things there at all. Um, and a period of being by yourself and working things out, um, I do, if you've ever seen my videos, hibernation sabbaticals, which means that I block out as many human beings as possible. Um, I stay off social media. I don't talk to anybody other than my husband. I go to work. I do my readings. That is it. I limit my contact with humans. And the reason why I do that is because I need some time out to reset myself. So that would work really well for you as well, Andrea. Hello, everybody that is coming in. Claire Cognizant is what that is, Tenya Dixon. When you just know stuff and you can't work out how you just know, that's Claire Cognizant. Um, 
I have this ability. It is the coolest thing in the world unless you have an ex-husband and you know what he's up to. It is not a cool gift because they hate it, but you love it. So you will always just know stuff. Empathics do this as well. They can feel when something's up and they will just know. Claire Cognizant is empathic to a degree, but it is a clear knowing of what's going on. It's a clear, it can be predictive, it can be futuristic, but it's a clear, yep, that's just what's going on. So when I'm doing things for people like... Um, uh, a lady came to see me a few months ago and she said, I've got this horrific pain in my body. No one can tell me what it is. It was actually her spleen that was causing the issue and I called it a filtration system. And when I said, no, it doesn't feel right. I'm calling it a filter, but I don't think it's a filter. I'm using my clear cognizant ability to be able to tap in and channel what that information was. And as soon as I said, okay, guys, I need to know what is happening here. Clear cognizant, uh, kicks in and somebody came through from the other side and said it's spleen. She doesn't have a spleen. That's why her body can't filter everything that's going on. So that's what the problem is. So they were looking, the medical team was looking for all different band-aid things going on around her without thinking about what they removed years ago and how her body was responding to that now. From Glasgow, Scotland. Thank you very much for joining in. My husband um, is English and he took me to Scotland. Um, not this Christmas, just gone the one before. And we went to Edinburgh Castle. And oh my goodness, you have an amazing country. You're so lucky. It's just stunning there. I recommend Scotland to anybody. It was cold, but that's okay. It's good cuddle weather. But um, yeah, it's just Scotland's amazing. Very amazing. Okay, let's have a look. Tanya Dixon would like a card. Tanya Dixon likes to worry about finances. Will there be enough? If I do this, will this happen? She thinks think about the variables and how those variables look in her life. She's a little bit of a worry ward. She likes to worry. But you know what? You've got nothing to worry about because when you're passionate about something, um, the passion that comes through, your frequency changes and then you're able to attract beautiful things to yourself. So when you're in that really good space, um, you can stay there. You can really stay there. It's just getting you in that really good space, okay? So stop worrying about stuff that you, okay, no, I'm changing that. I'm taking that back because I got a different interpretation. What they said to me was stop worrying about crap you can't control. So that might be a little trick for you or uh, someone has said that to you in the past or it's just how you interpret stuff like me. But um, don't worry about crap you can't control. Everything, you'll always land on your feet, okay? Always land on your feet. You'll be fine. Right, Carmichita. Carmichita Rodriguez. That's a beautiful name. I love it when I get all these unusual names. Anything about health and love. We are actually learning about how to do this for ourselves today as well. So what you can do, Carmencita, Carmencita, I beg your pardon if I have pronounced your name incorrectly, but what you can do around about health, okay, so what happens with you is you get yourself in a bit of a spiral and then your health lets you down, okay, so anything that you're building up, resentment, anger, hurt, frustration, that will all come out through your belly first, so you'll get that upset belly feeling and then your health starts to, to go down, so it's an emotional thing and it's a physical response, a physical reaction to an emotional um, issue, that you're talking, uh, that you're dealing with at the moment. So what I will say to you, and this is goes for anybody here, that when you're looking at health and love, um, and and you you that, that's not going to complete you, okay? You need to put your hand on your throat, um, and it doesn't matter left or right hand; doesn't really make any difference at all. And when you're asking, is this the right decision? Is this the right way forward for me? Put one hand on your belly and one hand on your throat. If either of those two areas seize up, get coffee, uh, you know, just don't feel right, they feel heavy, they change how they feel, then the response for you is no. It's not something that you'll be able to voice about, 
talk about. It'll be something that you, you you find yourself in a position where it's really hard for you to get some help and articulate how you need that help. Or also from your tummy point of view, which is where we keep all of our emotions. So it'll be upsetting or, or play havoc on your emotions. So what I would like you to do is learn about how to read your body first. Um, and then from there, then we can talk about love. Um, this is not my favorite topic in the world. I will be very honest with you because I think self-love is much more important than the love that we can receive from others because we set the bar on what we will accept and what we won't accept in our private relationship when we start to self-love ourselves, okay? So work on that. Work on letting go of some of the things that were frustrating you. Um and then you will be able to move forward in a lot more positive manner, okay? So think about the thoughts that you're talking to yourself with as well. Perla, you know, I am an Aussie, if you haven't already told. Um, but Perla, uh, what we used to say when we were kids is, oh, mate, that's a good Perla. So it was a Perla of a something or other, which meant it was just awesome. So you must be an awesome aura. Let's have a look. Okay. So you like to... Perla likes to feel things. So her body interprets messages through feelings. And it's a whole body thing for her. So this is a little bit different from empathic. Um, you're a very compassionate human being, okay? Don't think that I'm saying that you're not empathic, but this compassion is your strong point. That's your draw card, Perla. And you will feel in your body. Your body is the barometer of your soul. So if your body starts kicking up a stinky poo, then you're in the wrong position, the wrong person, the wrong environment. Get the hell out of Dodge. You have just flipped over the high priestess. Now, this is a huge transformational card. It's a transformational card because it tells me straight away that you just, you're working through whatever life has chucked at you. You've just gone, you know what, I'm just going to keep going. I've got the strength to keep doing that. It's a huge, powerful card. It's a major transformational card. So whatever you've got going on in your life at the moment, you're actually going to come out trumped. You're going to be able to get in a really cool position um, and, and really have mastery over that, okay? Bit of time out for yourself as well is needed um, and the time out for you is to take yourself to a different area. So if you live at the beach, you need to go a little bit more bush. If you live in the bush, you need to go a little bit more beach, those sorts of things. Do something outside of your normal routine just to shake things up, shift your frequency, shift your, shift your way of doing things. And your mind goes 100 miles an hour because my mouth is going 100 miles an hour. So... Um, if, if you are not able to meditate in traditional terms, and I'll explain what traditional terms are, you know, when you see the monks and you see these people that can quiet everything down and they can breathe, I can't do that. I lift heavy weights. I ride a motorcycle and I lift heavy weights. And that's how I stop my brain from doing everything else. I'm just focusing on riding my motorcycle. I'm just focusing on, on lifting the heavy weights. Um, find that one thing for you, whether it's gardening or being outside or um, sitting quietly and listening to the rain, whatever the, the case is for you, Perla, that's how you ground yourself. That's how you meditate. I would recommend that you do that um, to be able to tap into the more of the messages that you're feeling so you can get those whole body responses. Okay, let's just have a little flick down here. Mr. Fuge is here. I did a reading for Mr. Fuge recently. He's a lovely, lovely man. So I am available for readings if you would like to book a spot with me. Absolutely. Right. Let's go back here. Okay. We've got Jocelyn. Are we, yeah, we're up to Jocelyn, aren't we? They're all just standing there looking at me. Yeah, okay. We're up to Jocelyn. <laughs> and I see her. I'm like, come back. Come back. I can't shut them up normally. All right. We're up to Jocelyn Isaacs. Jocelyn. Jocelyn. I like the way you feel. You're a little cautious. 
Why would you be cautious? Shit's gone down. Okay, shit's gone down for Jocelyn. So she's a little cautious about not getting a reading or being online or anything like that, but who she lets into a private space. I can tell you right now that you have got some brilliant new beginnings coming up for you, Jocelyn. Um, and, you know, all that work that you've been doing on yourself, even though when you didn't feel like you were actually physically doing labour um, on yourself or physically making changes, you actually were. You um, The thing for you is quiet time. Now, I know this has um, been a bit of a common theme, but you'll find when you get in group environments like this, everyone's kind of the frequency you put out is the frequency you get back. So people will have common um, challenges and common themes and topics that we'll discuss. Jocelyn. Jocelyn is lying on the couch. I'm going to describe to you what I see, Jocelyn. Okay, so I'm seeing that you're lying on the couch. The couch is up against the wall. You want to feel protected. You want something at your back so you know that people have got your back. Whatever it is that's going on in your life, you want to feel like you they can't come at you anymore. Okay, whatever is going to happen or whatever is going to come into your life is going to come from the front so you can see what's coming. You're not going to be blindsided. There you go. But so... But you're relaxing, okay? It's just like you're having some rest and you're having a little bit of time out. Now your legs are going 100 miles an hour. So you've got two speeds, super fast or sleeping. We need to find that little speed in the middle so your body's got time to stop and smell the roses. I've got the most beautiful Mr. Lincoln smell in my face right now. Mr. Lincoln is a deep red rose. If you Google it, you'll find it's just stunning. Um, but it also has a really strong, beautiful um, aroma to it. So time out to smell the roses, the work that you've been doing. Even though it's been frustrating for you, um, you will have most of your answers in, in dream state, which is why you're lying on the couch chilling out. So you'll get dreams that will give you messages. It doesn't matter if you don't dream every single night, okay? It just doesn't matter. I don't dream every single night. It doesn't mean that you're further along your path or you're not. It's just whatever your subconscious or your conscious decides to replay and have a play with, or if spirit actually does send you some messages in your sleep. Um, don't take what people say to you to heart, okay? Work it out for yourself. You've got to ignore some of the words because words can cut you to the core. Um, I don't think that you've had the easiest of lives um, up until, I was going to say up until this point, but I think it started to settle down a couple of years back now. So, um, and it's just going to get better and better and better because you're actually finding your voice more. So my throat feels like it's opening up, so you're actually feeling like you're being able to open up. Okay, Jocelyn? <coughs> and there's your burp. Now, burping is the grossest thing to mankind, but it is also how spirit says to me, get that energy out. So that's your energy. That's for you. And that was for Jocelyn. Jody Lee. Adele is from Sydney. Me too. Jodie Lee. Now, Jody, I have seen your beautiful face pop up a few times now. You've got a really nice energy. You've got beautiful healing hands. Right. What I like about Jodie's hands is they're going to be square like that, okay? Now, her hands will get really super hot. Um, just while I'm thinking about Jodie, my palms are starting to sweat. So that doesn't mean that she's um, a sweaty little person. That just means that she generates so much heat and healing from her hands that any sort of humanitarian stuff, any sort of hands-on healing, anything that will, um, will be beneficial to other people will be purely from from Jodie's touch, okay? So if Jodie's walking along the street and she puts her hand out and you shake hand, you will feel that instant, you will feel that instant energy going on straight away. So um, so Jodie is a healer. So um, when I talk to you about healing, I don't just mean like Reiki stuff or massage or anything like that. I mean, it could be anything at all. So even if you're talking to someone and you listen to them and while you're listening to them, you're actually hanging on to their hand or um, anything that you can do. So if you were doing a reading for me, you might want to hang on to my hand so you can feel that energy exchange. So Jody is very much a touchy-feely energy interpreter, okay? She can interpret energy in a different manner, but one of the things I'd like you to consider, Jody, that was very kind of me, wasn't it? Usually I'm bossier than that, um, is uh, psychometry, okay? Because I feel like, 
I hate it when I say I feel. I know that you will get energy from things that you touch, people, animals, objects. So psychometry is right up your alley, okay, Jody. So if you want to check that out, please do so. You'd be really good at doing pendulum work as well, but shut your brain up while you're doing your pendulum work. Ask the question, shut it down. Don't try to say yes, 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 because your pendulum will follow yes, 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 because that's the frequency that you're putting out. Okay, remember what I taught you a couple of weeks ago, spells are words, spelling, casting a spell, using words to get things. Abracadabra is what my tattoo says, abracadabra. Um, it's written in Farsi, an ancient language. Um, abracadabra means I create what I speak. So if you want to do things and you create things in your life, make sure you choose the right words or things that you actually want to create because they will come true, especially when you say them with uh, good feelings and good emotion. So that's for you, Jody. Chani, let's do some rapid fire. How are we going for time? Cool. Got plenty of time. Love it when we walk in here and it's just a, like a vortex and everything slows down. It's brilliant. Chani, we're having a look at you. Now you're a little jumper, so you're a little busy bee, literally. <laughs> How funny is that? Like be kept busy. Interesting. You're quite an intelligent human being. Now, when I tune into your energy, you're quite intellectual. So if someone says to you that you're not intellectual, um, then you need to tell them, shut up, okay? Intellectual is not the same as academic. Now, I know I've just used a word that is in the Oxford Dictionary. I don't really care about the Oxford Dictionary. I'll tell you what I think of it. Academic is you book smart. Intellectual is you are worldly smart, okay? Now, the thing is for you, though, is you can have a little bit of naive, um, you can be a bit naive, okay? So what I would like you to do, um, and this is for my little darling Chani, um, what I would like you to do is think about the things that you want in your life, okay? So uh, now these are things you want in your life. I don't want you to make a list of things you do not want in your life, okay? And when you make that list of things, I don't want you to give it details. So if you want, for an example, you want a, a stone cottage, I don't want you to start writing down, I want it to be blue stone, I want it to have a red roof, I want it to have a purple door. I just want you to write down, I want a stone cottage, Here's the reason why, because when you get bogged down too much in detail, you, you your intention is still out there, but the universe will give you what you ask for. So if you ask for red roof, purple door, bluestone cottage, you might be waiting a very long time for someone to build that house or you need to build it yourself, which is not always possible, okay? But if you say I want a stone cottage, the universe will send you the best stone cottage for you. You can stick a new roof on it. You can paint your bloody door. But the whole idea is to get your stone cottage, okay? So when you do your vision board, Chani, I want you to not get too bogged down in the detail-orientated stuff. I want you to focus just on the big picture stuff. If your dream is to have a hobby farm, don't nuss it down to three goats, two dogs, four chickens. I want a hobby farm that is big enough to have everybody living there that I want to have living there. I want it big enough so I can look after everybody that crosses my path. That's what you ask for. That way the universe can give you exactly what you want. That is the perfect thing for you, not what you think you might want. Okay, I wanted a really tall, beautiful man once in my life. I got a really tall, beautiful man and he was an asshole. So I wanted an integrity, honesty, kind, gentle, well-mannered, educated, loving person. I got him. He's very good looking and he's tall. But I didn't focus on the superficial stuff. I focused on the really important things, the things that I could not live without. And in this case, to use the example, you cannot live without your stone cottage. Don't get bogged down in the details, okay? Don't let people put shit on you either, all right, my love, because they're not always... Um, sometimes the stuff that people says to you is their projection, okay? It's not you, it's them projecting. Alrighty, let's have a look at some more. Christina, I just 
scroll down here in case anyone I've done something for needs a little bit more information. Lovely. All righty. So if you're just tuning in now, we're looking at how you can get answers for yourself, how to unleash your intuition. I'm giving you a little bit of guidance and I will tell you whatever comes through. So if Spirit, like last week, we were going to do a topic on self-love and Spirit said, no, you're not, you're doing readings. I just do what I'm told. That way I get to sleep peacefully at night time. Let's have a little look. We could scroll back up here. I'm scrolling and my mouse is making a squeaky noise like a mouse. It's hilarious. I love that. Okay, Christina, we are up to. Oh, Christina, the first thing that comes in for you is flower and um, essence, flower, aromatherapy, naturopathy, natural alternative medicinal healings. Okay, so anything that you can do. Oh, okay, they're, they're telling me you're a hedge witch. Look at that. In the past... In the past, left-hand side, you're a hedge witch. You used smells, sinuses, your eyes. You used, you were observant and you created potions from aromatherapy, um, natural, natural things, okay? So if you wanted to start up a bath bomb business and you wanted to do it, provided you used um, organic, natural, you know, natural things, not like, you know, chemicals and things like that because you, you won't excel at that. Um, it's natural, organic, fresh as a daisy stuff. Um, you would excel, okay? Anything that you can get your hands on by doing that. Um, sometimes you're actually able to, um, that's really interesting. Sometimes you're able to calm people down with smells. That is for you. That is for you. You're going on a little holiday soon, my love, little tiny holiday, and it will be just the rest that you need, okay? It is it is not, you, you need to reset all the things that are going on in your life, and how you reset is by going and having a couple of little days away. Improvements are coming into your life. You're just testing the waters on what you want to do, okay? So if you've got a career change or a direction that you want to go and you just want to try a few different things out, um, then by all means, now is the time to do that. So <laughs> they really want you to pay attention to aromatherapy, spells, potions, lotions, um, anything that is aromatherapy. They want you to do that, okay? That is for you. Do we have anything else for her? music okay listen to music put some music on in the background it needs to be music that you can just hear so you're not straining to hear it uh it, it just it calms you it just, it just gets you in a um a different headspace okay so they want you to think about music and putting music on okay right wanting to protect my energy eat Edel. Edel McGrath. Wanting to protect my energy. Okay. You've got psychic vampires around you. So what psychic vampires are, they're not as cool as the Cullen family. Um, but they do suck the bloody life out of you, my love. So what I would like you to consider doing, I'm not being bossy again, go me. Um, what I would like you to consider doing is getting yourself some um, lovely green obsidian, some black obsidian or snowflake. Um, snowflake's a bit prettier than black, but um, green or black or snowflake obsidian and put it in your bra. Like, keep it close to your heart, okay? Yep, definitely close to your heart because I've just lifted up my left boob. Sorry about that. Um, and what that will do is that will, it's not like green obsidian is an old witch trick, okay? And what it does, it doesn't actually cause ill or harm to anybody. So it's not us saying to it, um, back off or I'll hex you, okay? So don't misinterpret that. 
what it is actually doing is saying, okay, if you send me some yucky energy, it's going to bounce off. It's not going to affect my heart and it's going straight back to you. So if I was coming at you and I was being a bully and a nasty person, your obsidian that you have in your bra will actually just tell me to back off. It won't do anything. There's no repercussions on you. It just puts a little bit of a... Um, and look, it puts a little bit of a, a um, like a bubble around you, okay? Just it bounces off. But keep it in your bra. So put it in your bra. And when you flick your bra off at the end of the day, don't flick it, okay? Because <laughs> your crystals will go flying across the room and you might not be able to find your rose quartz forever and ever um, as personal experience. But that's, um, that's something for you to do, okay? So you're really good with crystal stuff and keeping rocks and keeping little trinkets and things like that. Um, you do really well if you had a rose quartz. Um, little little necklace you know you get in the crystal shops and stuff like that make sure it's legit though don't get a cheapy one that just bloody plastic make sure it's a proper rose quartz um, necklace and down the track as you start getting a little bit less um, impacted by the people that are sucking the life out of you because you've got a really nice energy and people want a bit of that but they just don't exchange it or they do exchange it but it's not an energy that you want then you start introducing a little bit of smoky quartz into your life okay but not yet Get the green obsidian and the, and the black or the snow obsidian first. Protect yourself. Put your little wall up. Have a little bit of a dome um, because you'll have trouble. Because when you um, put it in, over into your brow where your heart is, it's actually protecting your heart. Whereas if you have to think about having a white light or a bubble or any sort of thing that, you know, mainstream spiritual stuff teaches you it's too flipping hard especially if you're copping it and you know you're trying you're trying to defend yourself and, and keep yourself safe and then you've got to try to picture this bloody bubble around you as well whereas the crystals will do that for you okay so green obsidian that's the, that's the strongest one um, and then black or snowflake snowflake's really pretty it looks like a reverse dalmatian if you haven't seen it um and that will get you out of trouble pretty quickly. Don't have smoky quartz yet. Get smoky quartz a little bit further down the track. <coughs> there you go. The sooner you get that, the sooner you'll um, protect your energy a little bit more, okay? Okay, let's see. Tasha, may I have a message? Absolutely. Oh, oh. Okay, so Tasha hears things. Um, don't let the doctors diagnose you with uh, tinnitus, okay? The little ringing and the funny little whirring and computer noises you get in your head, that the universe um, charging you up and putting a frequency so you'll be able to start hearing things and seeing things. Now, when you hear things, okay, um, you will get them. Will she get them like that? You'll hear, you'll hear different voices, okay? You're not going nuts. It's just that if... That way you will know straight away or fairly early on in the piece that it's not your brain doing it, okay? It's actually spirit talking to you. So my ear got itchy straight away, like when someone was tickling in it. It's like, you know, when you've got a little bit of water in your ear or something, so I knew that that's how it is. So that tinnitus feeling, so look up tinnitus so you, um, because it'll describe, you know, what it is. It's actually not tinnitus for you, okay? It's actually that you're going to be able to, to hear spirit and to hear interpretations of what's going on for you. Yeah, so that's your little cool trick. That was for Tasha Simpson. Let's have a look. We've got Janelle. We're going to try to get through as many people as possible, but I am on here every Tuesday from 9.30. You can also catch me on my own page. Um, book a reading through me if you like. Do it through Spiritual Events Directory for a lovely price. Um, and I'm always at fairs around the country as well. And I'm also available for psychic parties, which is just the funnest stuff ever because you get a whole bunch of your friends together and I come to your house and I do a whole stack of reading for everybody while I'm there. So it's um, always good fun for psychic parties. i do a little bit more. Uh, we've got Perlis from Italy. All right. I think I missed. Where are we go? We're going. 
We're going back to Julie Sinclair. Okay, Julie, the troubles that you've had in the recent past are actually starting to leave you, my love. They're going, look at that, going forward. I love it when I do things without thinking about it. I just let them take over. Um, work has been a bit of a drama for you as far as frustrations. Look at that. See that? As soon as I actually <laughs> lifted up my hair, and started touching my neck so all the weight of the world all of your stresses all your worries are actually in your neck okay so what i would like you to consider doing is um, increasing some magnesium into your diet not too much because you can have a laxative effect so be careful with that um, but make sure it's a good quality one so go to the chemist don't get it from the supermarket um, and just increase your magnesium which will help with a bit of muscle tightness that you have there a little, little bit of lumpy stuff going on for you as well um, because when you're under high pressure, you're not able to receive any messages at all. You use your third eye, okay? So Julie Sinclair, you use your third eye. So you'll see things. You'll, you'll be able to see things clearly when they, when they come in. But we need to get your frustrations and your, um, your stress under control because that's quite um, intense as far as headaches are concerned. The same, make sure that you keep continue to drink water as well i know that you're trying to be better with drinking water make sure that you drink just a little bit more aim for uh, what i do is um, i'm really good at it now but what i used to do was on my desk i would um, put down a stroke every time i had a glass of water um and then at the end of it you know like a little tally and then that way i tried to beat my score every day that i have from the day before and i found that it turned into a bit of a game it didn't make it such a chore there might be something that um you can think about there they did they are saying that there's a decision that you need to make coming up and i feel it's around work so whatever that decision is really make sure that you've got all your cards on the table um really make sure that you you know you've got something to go to before you quit your current job or if you're not working no no the frustrations that you're feeling are around um pigeonholing and not being able to explore what you need to explore it feels like you're not able to have the autonomy that you are deserving of and that you are capable of so whatever job you're going to go through to next um then um you need to make sure that you put the autonomy card on the table and make sure that that um, they understand that you are there to do a job and that you need to be able to do that job. So they need to shut up and get out of your way while you do it. But that's what's going on for you. So the frustrations are coming to a close, but there is a major decision coming up around that. And I can tell you that the job that you're going to will be something that you absolutely love doing. You'll really enjoy it once you get through those initial insecurity moments where you think, oh, shit, what have I done? Um, it's just the right move for me. Just settle that down. Within a month, you'll be just totally um, turning your boat out of troubled waters and going places and, and really enjoying life all, all over again, which will be good for you. It's a long time coming. A long time coming. Um, also, um, another little trick for you to remember as well, Julie, is to not say yes to everything, okay? Have some boundaries in line around saying no um, and being able to prioritise your time because your time is very precious and I feel like you stretch yourself a bit too far sometimes. So that's something to for you to do. Um, and my back is a little bit itchy. So um, what I would say around that, and it's the middle of the back, so don't feel guilty about making decisions for yourself, okay? So the mid-range of your back is guilt. Um, so I don't know if someone has made you feel guilty in the past or whether... Um, you feel guilty for making decisions for yourself, but you need to do that, okay, because you need to sometimes um, make yourself happy. I know that sounds that sounds selfish. If you're a parent, you will know that that sounds super selfish, but if you make yourself happy, then everyone around you is able to relax and feel happier as well. So that's something for you to consider, Julie. Right. Let's see. Got lots of people. If I missed you today, please tune in next week. We've got 11, 11 minutes to go. Might just scan through. Thank you, Margaret Wood. It's been nice. Good morning, Laura from New Zealand. All right. You have a big rose quartz around your neck. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's have a little look back here. I feel like I need to go back here a little bit.
There's somebody I've skipped over. It's, it's like I'm, I'm going to find them. I, I tell you why because it feels to me <laughs> I just got in trouble again. I know that whoever I am looking for gets overlooked in life, and it's important that she knows that she did not get overlooked today. Mattel Ryan, Mattel, Mattel, Mattel Ryan, I kind of feel like it's for you. Invisibility cloak, oh see that, invisibility cloak, okay. So can you guys see when spirits are flickering around in the background or is it just me? Because I actually spent the first five or six years of my life thinking that everybody could see dead people and was absolutely shocked um, when it was established that I was the only weirdo. So that was, um, so I still forget that not everybody can see what I see or what other people who are mediums can see as well, not just me. All right. Mattel. What's coming up for you, Mattel? A much happier life for you, my darling. A much happier life. The sun's shining. I can feel it on my face. This is the future, remember? So this is the past and this is the future. So I can feel the sun on my face. So being able to, um, you know, the sun's shining. We need sun to be able to grow, okay? So I feel like you're growing in the right direction a long time coming you had to let go of a lot of stuff in your life that were holding you back um disappointments from childhood disappointments from early 20s just different things that are going on it felt like sometimes you had an invisibility cloak over your whole entire body and people just you just went unnoticed um it's not that at all it's just because you've um you've got something it kind of feels like, now I haven't run your chart and it could, could be way off here, but it kind of feels like you've got your south node, which is where you've come from, okay? So, so you've got um, your north node, which is your soul contract for this lifetime. kind of feels like your south node, where you've come from, is in Aries or the first house, which means that, you know, you've been around for a long time and, you are, um, you know, because you're happy to just go with the flow, sometimes people just flow around you. So that's what it kind of feels like. But you've got an amazing energy field, okay you're soothing people with your words so your claim to fame Mattel Ryan is how you talk to people your communication how you um you, know, you have a lot of power in your voice when you people talk to you and when you talk back to people talk with them and exchange that communication you're actually um giving them a great deal of helping them and, and healing them and, and just by talking to them it's amazing how you can do that um, you'll find that people come up to you in the supermarket and tell you all sorts of things um, which is odd because you might go ages and ages without anybody actually noticing you at the same time so um, you're going to start being recognized at work more what I'd like you to do Mattel is I'd like you to get a can you please tell me what it is it's a red coral. Okay, I, I would like you to consider, go me, I would like you to consider um, getting red coral. Uh, red coral is, um, is uh, if you follow Vedic astrology, it's for Kuja Dosha inflection, okay, which is the Mars inflection, which means if your Mars in your natal chart is in a really shitty spot, um, then you can sometimes attract bullies into your life. You can sometimes be ignored. Um, you have to work 10 times hard just to get someone to say thank you, all that sort of stuff. Red coral, um, in much the same way as obsidian, but red coral actually puts a bit of a beacon on you and it says, here I am, I'm okay, I, I'm protected, but I'm okay. I, I can deal with whatever you throw at me and red coral will support you through that process, okay? So um, it stops people from using you as a victim, okay? Now, you would have noticed, Mattel, that I said it, I didn't say it stopped you being a victim. I said it stopped people using you as a victim, all right? Because you're happy to go with the flow mostly, so people will take advantage of that and think that you're weaker. It's not that you're weaker. It's just you can't be bothered with the bullshit and the drama, have a little one more look at what's going on okay 
Are you going to start falling in love with different things in your life as well, um, bringing more love into your life in one way or another? If you're not in a relationship, um, an intimate relationship at the moment, this could be the green light that someone is coming into your life. Um, it also is changing the way you're viewing yourself. So a lot more self-acceptance is going on for you. And when you start accepting yourself more as a whole person and not as labels and not as conditioning that um, our families or sometimes the people that we're around, put those labels on us, then um, we, we start to open up more doors and opportunities to be loved in a more whole manner, holistic, loving. There's an opportunity for you to, here to have some real clear uh, mental clarity and mastery over mental clarity, so mastery over your thoughts. And when that happens, you've actually got a cause for celebration coming up by the end of this year. So um, I'm not sure when your next birthday is. I don't think it, no, it's not a birthday. It's a cause for a celebration. So you're kicking goals somehow, Mattel. So really, this is really good for you, okay? Hang in there. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't worry so much about what everybody else is doing because mostly people are just... Unfortunately, there's two types of people in the world. There's people that will build you up and will celebrate with you and then there's everybody else that just doesn't want to get too involved in your successes, okay? So I'm going to get involved in your success and I'm going to say to you that those times have now passed and that you've done the hard yards and you're coming out the other side and you've only got sunshine coming in for your future. So really nice. Um, let's see if I can get somebody else in just before I go. Anybody at all? Um, let's go Tula. Let's go Tula. Feeling very lost and don't know which path to take. You know why Tula? I know why. Okay, so show me what Tula is going through right now. You procrastinate, my darling. And when you procrastinate, you're not making decisions. And when you're not making decisions, see how I was rubbing past and present, like past and past <laughs> and future? Um, you don't you don't know which path to take, okay? So you talk yourself in and out of stuff all the time. That's why you feel lost. Do I do this? Don't I do this? When I did it before, it didn't work. If I don't do it this way this time, maybe it will be more successful. <sighs> Just chill out, my love, okay? Tula, path for you. Path for Tula and how she's going to do it. Swimming. Tula, you reset your energy by getting in the water. Now, I don't want you to sit in the bath, okay, because... The bath is not uh, moving water. Sorry, I got interrupted then. Um, the bath is not moving water. I need you to go and I would like you to consider going and standing in a stream or standing at the beach or somewhere where the water is going past you, okay, by its own accord, not going in the bathtub and making splashes, okay. It's not going to work. Um, you can make splashes in the bathtub if you want to do that. Um by all means, you can reset your ions in the bath. You use Epsom salt, lavender oil, and um, have a drink of chamomile tea at the same time. And what you need to do, though, is when you flush your bath out, like take a plug out at the end of the bath, you actually need to disinfect your bath, okay, and let it go right down and then flush it with clean water. And that takes all your shit out of your system and pushes it all the way down the drain, okay? You can do that, but if you go to the beach, you'll do the same thing. You'll reset your ions in your body. The thing that you're having trouble with is um, it, it feels like you're losing control, okay? So when you feel lost, you need to go on a bit of a journey, but you're worried about giving up control. You're worried, oh, you're also worried about what people will say. Who cares what people say? You know what? I teach you a little mantra that I taught myself years ago. You are the director of your own movie. <coughs> See that? You're the director of your own movie. You're not a supporting actor, okay? You direct what you want in your life. So if you are happy for other people to call the shots in your life, you're still the director. You're allowing that to happen. But if you want to move forward in a positive manner that suits you, 
okay so other people can make decisions for you that are positive but they may not necessarily suit you so where you're feeling that lost is that you have to give up some control or you feel like you have no control over outcomes but you actually do just that you're procrastinating you're not really sure how to move forward or what moving forward looks like okay i can tell you that you are getting mastery over whatever it is that's happening in your life you'll be able to learn a different way of looking at things if you don't already have a man in your life tool out you are getting one at the fastest rate of knots you've got arrows of love coming in he's a gentle person now if you're already with a man do not freak out it doesn't mean that brad pitt's going to ride in on a horse it means that he has a change within himself if he's not already a kind gentle emotional person he will shift and become this person you've got pages all over the place here so pages are all about learning phase okay so you're learning about boundaries you're learning about when to say no to people you're learning about how to be clever with your money so people don't have that financial control over you anymore and money doesn't have financial control over you anymore and you're falling in love with life it's all about inner strength for you at the moment Tula so you're going to have to tell other people to butt the hell out while you get on with what you want to do you don't have to have all the answers I've got a decision I need to make at the moment and I don't have all the answers and I've been doing this for over 35 years okay that we're here for the human experience we're going to ball thing up we're going to suck at stuff and we're going to rock at stuff it's just about making sure that whatever it is that's the moon whatever it is that you're actually doing it from a place of self-love and acceptance so whatever decision you need to make taller make sure that you listen to your heart make sure that you're actually focusing on what it is that you want to do and how you will feel as a result if everybody wants you to be a nurse and you want to be a police officer even though you'd be a really good nurse be the police officer it's all about what you want to do and not so much about the labels that other people are putting on you okay and when you start making decisions for yourself and not giving a hoot about what other people think that's when life really starts to kick some gold and you really start enjoying everything that is happening for you so that is me for now that was the fastest bloody half an hour in my life the best half an hour was i thought we were um I thought we were actually uh, kicking goals and getting somewhere but um, unfortunately the last half an hour was like a vortex I shouldn't have said anything at that half an hour mark um, Tula you that's you stuck in the past okay and that's you stuck in the future so you're procrastinating my love write down your pros and cons write down all the things that you picture for yourself in five years from now so if your life if okay let's look at it this way i'm just going to help to learn a worry about going over in a little minute but and this applies to anybody here we have to think about our lives as a canvas okay and it's a beautiful big white canvas and we get to decide how we're going to paint it what we're going to look at um, what colors we're going to are we going to put stick men in there? Or are we just going to be abstract? Are we going to create flowers? Are we going to create? Yeah, you know, we're going to build a truck We get to decide what that looks like So when we're scared of moving on it's like we're sitting at this blank canvas and we don't know which color to pick up And we don't know whether we want to do it abstract. We don't know whether we want to draw pictures on it first we don't know whether we want to cut pictures out of a magazine and stick it on there first that's okay because whatever we decide to do we can wake up tomorrow morning and get a new canvas it doesn't matter if we start with pink on the canvas and halfway through our painting we decide shit i should have used blue get the blue out put blue into your not life now bring blue into your life wear a blue shirt while you paint your canvas it doesn't really matter we can't get this wrong the thing that we forget and the thing that the industry is pretty weird about is that we have free will but and I don't want to create confusion but I'm going to put it out there anyway and something for you to consider between now and, and next week happy to do a, a group discussion if you like but we already have all the tools that we need to do exactly what we need to do in this lifetime okay and I can tell you from lots of different modalities okay not just from a spiritual sense but numerology 
what our life path number is. We were already born, the, our numerology is from our birthday. Our astrology is from our birthday. Our North Node doesn't, well, it does move slightly as we get older because of the, the very harmonics of, of um, progressed charts. But essentially, our birth chart is already there from the get-go. We have got every tool we need to do whatever it is that we want in this lifetime. The free will that we have is what we do with that information. It's already predestined. Something for you to consider. Thank you very, very much, everyone, for tuning in today. It has been an absolute blast, as always, and I look forward to seeing you all on the Warrior Chronicle next week. Um, what should we do next week? I have no idea what we will do next week, but I dare say we will do some more readings. I um, might introduce you to a couple of different modalities, perhaps, um, crystal ball, pendulum. Um, yeah, and we'll see, and we'll see what happens and what comes through. But for now, thank you very, very much. Have a lovely time and be the warrior that you are. Bye for now.